yes what's going on everybody how you doing my name is dr sami baya please welcome back to my channel why the narcissist triggers you on purpose that is the title of today's episode now we all know that the narcissist is a master manipulator the narcissist is a selfish self-centered egotistic individual who lacks empathy who wants control others who wants to dominate conversations who wants attention validation admiration at all costs and constantly so the narcissist triggers you on purpose and why do they do that why does the, why does the narcissist trigger you on purpose they do that because they want you to react to their behavior they want narcissistic supply as a result the narcissist triggers you on purpose to provoke you to react negatively that way they can control you that way they can manipulate you so when the narcissist triggers you on purpose when they annoy you when they make you angry on purpose choose to stay calm and avoid rising to their attempts to upset you because they trigger on you, you on purpose to upset you they make comments that are meant to get a rise out of you but please don't take the bite don't react but respond calmly to what narcissist says to you and if you realize that they've triggered you to get upset then you can stop take a deep breath you can go for a walk to calm yourself before you engage with that narcissist the moment you react you get angry you you know you shout scream at the narcissist then they are happy you've fallen into their trap so walk away from that narcissist if they are being abusive towards you if the narcissist triggers you on purpose by criticizing you blaming you calling you names threatening you doing something that is upsets you please choose to walk away there's power in walking away from a narcissist the narcissist will trigger you on purpose because they want to be on the limelight they want to be on the at the center of they want to be the center of attention they want to be on the spotlight they want your life to revolve around them so they trigger on purpose to force a reaction to make you focus on them so listen to the narcissist carefully when they talk you can pretend to be smiling nodding maintaining eye contact yes saying things like yes i see mm. just to encourage them to keep talking you can ask a few questions just to prove to the narcissist that you're listening to them you're doing all this to play around with the narcissist you don't want them to get a reaction a negative reaction from you or a positive reaction so you just play a fool sometimes you can distract the narcissist about something that interests them because one thing with the narcissist when they trigger on you they want to trigger on purpose to overreact don't do that you can distract them by asking them about you know something that they love because we know narcissists biggest weakness is that they want to dominate conversations they want everything to be about them they love talking about themselves and they love sharing everything that they know so when you ask this narcissist about something that they find interesting in their life then you will distract them from that anger that they have over you you will distract them from that mind game they they are, they are playing of triggering you you know to react provoking you to react so if the narcissist was arguing with you or attacking you verbally then 
you can throw a question that will distract them, will make them feel good, will destroy the anger they have in them. Sometimes to deflect that the, to deflect the narcissist triggering you on purpose, you can show some empathy for their feelings. This might soothe them. Just show them that you have some concern for them and how you feel for them. Probably that attention will soften them. All right. Again, if you want to confuse the narcissist who is trying to trigger your purpose, you can choose to refuse to feed that superior self-image, that fake image they have. Because the narcissist feel and think that they are superior to other people. So they want people who will feed this an image, people who will praise them, people who will tell them, yes, they are superior than others. So you can choose to ignore their comments. You know. So just know that every relationship has some conflicts. So a relationship with a narcissist must have also some disputes and conflicts. So if you ever criticize a narcissist, they will be very, very angry because narcissists don't want to be criticized. So, you can choose to talk about yourself when expressing yourself. You can use the I when expressing yourself instead of, about the, uh, of focusing on the narcissist. You can say, instead of telling the narcissist, you hurt me, you can say, I feel hurt by your actions. Instead of telling the narcissist, you did something cruel and careless, you can say, I feel hurt by what you did. So, it's an indirect, softer way of ensuring that there's no um, negative reaction that will feed the narcissist's ego. So narcissists are big liars. So when they trigger you on purpose by lies, be careful. Don't overreact. Just be careful to identify what are the lies there. Alright? And again, when the narcissist triggers you on purpose to react choose not to react instead you can reach out to your family and friends that is I mean your support system All right they'll be there to support you talk to people you trust All right family and friends that you trust tell them what you're going through with this narcissist and ask for their support this will help you deal with this narcissist when they try to provoke you to react Talk to your counselor, talk to a therapist, tell them about your feelings, right? Tell them about your day-to-day -day life, how you feel, how you'd like to improve your life. This will strengthen you and you'll be able to move on and survive this narcissistic relationship. Remember, narcissists are master manipulators and the narcissist always wants to isolate you from everybody else so that they can play around with you, they can hurt you, they can destroy you, destroy your self-esteem. Because narcissists never want to see you happy. They don't want to see you shining. They don't want to see you successful. So they will do everything to punish you, to destroy you, to put you down, to stress you, to depress you. That gives a lot of encouragement to the narcissist. They're very happy when you're down. So thank you for watching this video. If you love it, please say it in the comment section. Share this video widely to all those who may need it. Remember, knowledge is power. Information is power. And learning is the superpower. I love you all to the moon and back. God bless you. Catch you later in the next video. Remember to subscribe 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 to my youtube channel what has it out there that dr sami Baya youtube channel is one of the best youtube channels as far as narcissistic relationships are concerned so please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about it let's build each other up let's build a strong support system 
See you later in the next video.